kind of messed up. Hi, it's Rachel Salk again. So I think I messed up. I had changed my order on Sketchbox to go from a basic box to a premium. I thought that since I got the basic box, I was going to get the premium next month. Well, I incidentally got both. So this is a premium box. So now I have two sketch boxes this month. No worries, I'm not gonna make the same mistake again. That just means more art supplies for me. So I'm excited about that. Bonus sketch box video. Let's see what's inside a premium. This is a color brush. Ooh, I have not tried any color brushes before unless it was like the normal ink brush that you'd probably use for line paper, but I usually just do those to fill in a black space. So this comes with art leads like it's just the lead it doesn't have like the wood on it and then it comes with the little case to hold them in so you can change out the different leads with this it's just a kneaded eraser nice and gummy i like that this is a leather bound sketchbook i'm not used to working with smaller sketchbooks i used to when i was a teen but I was told, go big, go big, go big, go big or go home. So this will be fun. I'm gonna actually take these guys and then make a picture and I'll see kind of the difference between a premium box versus a basic box. So I guess this is gonna be like a happy accident because now I get to test both. Ooh, see which one I like. I'm going to enjoy drawing with these. Um, so I will set myself up and see what I can come up with. Don't get me wrong, I enjoyed playing with this stuff, but part of me feels like this was a different level than I'm used to. I'm used to just a bunch of different pencils, and I just pick one up and go, pick one up and go, pick one up and go. But with this thing, you have to actually change out the lead. And it was getting to the point where, towards the beginning, I kind of forsook the container and was just holding the pieces of lead and drawing. But then, as you can see, I broke two of them. They just 
snapped very easily after a while and I do tend to grip my pencils with an iron fist I, mean, I shouldn't I know I know but I'm intense okay I do everything with like nah after breaking a couple of my leads I decided you know what I do need to actually use the holder because I'm just gonna snap them all and then I won't have a picture it was a little frustrating to me though to have to like pull it out and put one in pull it out and put one in because I'm I'm used to just you know pick up and pick up and didn't facilitate my speed and want of just go from one color to another, which also threw me off while I was drawing, because while I was drawing, I realized that I'd have to do all of one color if I wanted to not change out the lead as fast as I wanted to. I'd have to do all the sepia and then all the, the I think it's like burnt umber type color. I'd have to work in layers instead of doing one spot at a time, which is kind of how I usually draw. I draw to one area and then I just kind of go out from there and do this area and this area and this area. This, these really stretched me because I had to figure out a different way to draw the piece that wasn't so frustrating to me. So I still enjoyed it, didn't want to wring my neck at the same time. <laughs> I realized in the box itself it did not come with a sharpener. So I was actually using the pencil sharpener from the basic sketch box. My favorite thing is this pen. I have not used as good of a pen like this before. It's a nice and big one, and it's like an actual, it feels like an actual ink pen because you gotta squeeze it in order for the ink to come down into the fibers. These fibers start out as white when you first open the package. It's like, hey! And you have to like take out a ring and everything, put it back in, and then you squeeze and all the ink comes down. Nice. I really liked this pen. I feel like I want to use this more. It was a uh, brown, so it's a sepia. It doesn't come off near as harshly as a black pen, and I actually like that. Because when I ended up drawing, it's a creature's eye. Towards the beginning, it wasn't really coming together for me. I was getting frustrated. I realized when I was drawing with the sepia, I would drew really hard, and then the other colors weren't accepted after I drew it. So it's almost like you gotta be very light with your layers and then kind of pull them together with the white. I was trying to blend the colors as colors and not use the white to be the blender. But I do feel like the piece came together once I actually added the ink lines. I really like how the lines pop, but it's not so much of a pop that it's harsh and that's all you see. It kind of just makes everything pop. So I really ended up actually liking this piece once I added the finishing touches. And those finishing touches were, again, my favorite piece to work with. So this was fun. I actually liked seeing the difference between a premium and a basic box, even though it was a mistake. Thanks again for watching my video. If you guys want to join me for other art adventures, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you guys. If you guys have art ideas, share them. Maybe I can do an art challenge based on something that you guys have in your head. If you want to see more of my artwork, blog posts, updates, go ahead and click that Facebook link in my description. You can join me along with all the different things that happen throughout the week. Thanks for joining me today, guys. This is Rachel Selk signing out.